Okay, YouTube world, all my friends out there. Hope everybody's doing okay tonight. <coughs> I am making, this is a 1.46 pound cowboy ribeye. Angus USDA choice. I'm doing that on my Blackstone. I just don't like feel like firing up my grill tonight. But I'm also doing some Brussels sprouts. I'll show you how I like to do them. These won't be like your mom used to do them. Just throw them in some boiling water, throw butter on them later. They were still good. But mine, you fry them in bacon grease. So I'm gonna cook up all this bacon first. Might as well throw that on there right now and get it sizzling. Let's fry them in the bacon grease. And once you get a get the color on them that you want, then you add chicken stock, and it kind of steams them until they're done. And then at the end, you throw in some some brown sugar and some red pepper flakes, so you got kind of a a sweet and a heat. And these things are fantastic. But I will bring you guys back here in a little bit when I got this bacon all cooked up and ready to throw the Brussels in there. Be back in a little bit. Well, that's a pound and a half of bacon. And look at all that room I still got left on the Blackstone. You guys are probably thinking, now how's he going to cook Brussels sprouts and bacon grease? And chicken stock without it running out the spout. I'm going to take a jack. Jack up the back of my blackstone a little bit so everything runs this way. And steam everything up here. I'll be back after I get all this done. Alright, got all my grease starting to puddle up in here. Running away from there. I put a... Uh, It's a uh, 20 ton bottle jack in there. So I hope that's enough jack to hold this black stone up. It is only 20 tons, but the jack is. Anyway, that's what I want to do is get all my grease to come this way. Now I can put all the Brussels in here. And then when they're fried to where I want them, then I'll add the chicken stock, and the brown sugar, and the red pepper flakes. I think I forgot to show you my red pepper flakes. Right there. And what I'm gonna season my steak with is this stuff called Chef's Secret. This is pretty good. Little salty, but I love my salt. It's probably why I like Montreal steak so much. Because it's nice and salty. People always say I want to control my salt. Well, I control my salt. When I'm done, I add more to it. I'll bring you back when I'm closer to putting on the Brussels. All right, here we go. Let's get these Brussels on here. Now what you wanna do is you wanna try and flip them all over, face cut side down. Some of them want to be pretty stubborn, but like that one, little turd. 
Should have brought my tongs out here. Screw it, ain't that hot yet. I'll do it with my dang fingers. That one's a little warm. Oh, one trying to get away. Why didn't you guys tell me that? Starting to get hot. I guess I'll remember to bring my tongs out, huh? These all turned over and now to push them all down to the bacon grease. One of them little ones got hot quick. Alright, slide everything down. Everything's better with bacon, right? I think that goes with butter too. Alright, I gotta run in the house. Grab my brown sugar, I forgot that. So while I'm doing that, I'll pause my camera. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch Brussels fry and bacon grease. I'll be right back. All right, see these little brown guys here? That there is what you want. You want to get them about that color? And you get them all flipped over. Yeah, I remember bring my tongs this time. I ain't touching them now. There, let me get these all flipped over. I'll show you my next step. All right, what I think I'm gonna do, let me use my scraper. Move all these over here. I'm going to get rid of some of this bacon grease. Because when you mix liquid with grease, you all know what happens. I'll leave just a little bit on here. Because I was thinking if I'm doing my steak on here, <laughs> might as well cook it in the bacon grease too, huh? All right, bring these back. Got rid of most of that. Hopefully my bowl's big enough, looks like it. So, now, I've never done it with the brown sugar before but everybody likes sweet and heat mixed together so hopefully this will work out put some brown sugar right on there I don't want to put a ton because I don't want to risk it burning burning all my brussels up so well, that's probably enough you know me I don't measure I'd never make it as a baker. Here goes the chicken, chicken stock, chicken broth. Get that on there. Cover that baby up. Throw that steak on there.
give this a quick check. I'm getting tender. Let's check it out. Uh, I might go a little bit longer. There we go. Uh oh. Let's see. I've also never done this on the Blackstone. I've always done it in a skillet. So this is a new thing for me. I've made the Brussels like this before. But I've never done it on the Blackstone. Crank the heat up on the steak. Anyway, bring you guys back here in a little bit. All right. Got the brown sugar on there already. Got the chicken stock. Let's add our red pepper flakes. My wife is in the house making some honey sriracha salmon. That stuff is fantastic. I have to make a video of that some night. Here goes the bacon. Think we need more nap? I think so. All right. Now, if everybody's mom started their kids out on Brussels like this, there ain't a kid in the world that would hate these. That. Now, my mom used to just boil them. Took them out of the pan, put them on a plate, put butter, salt, and pepper on them. They were still good. But they weren't this good. Hmm. Next thing is. Yep, it's hot. I'm gonna get off here so I can carry it in the house later. There we go. Got a little color on there. Looks like some of my seasonings coming off. Let's get the temperature on this. We're only at 95 degrees right now, but I've only turned it over once. I'd be good with 95 degrees. I'll be back when I'm ready to take it off. All right. I just took the temperature. And it was showing 119, 120. I think maybe. 
And we'll take her up to about 125. All right, everybody. My camera overheated because it was so close to the Blackstone. So it shut off on me. So let's cut this and check it out. Let's see what this looks like. You see that? That look alright? Alright. Yeah, cooked it in bacon grease. Put bacon on it. Anyway, take a little taste test. That's fantastic. Cooked in bacon grease and got bacon all over it. Holy crap, look at my daughter's shirt. <laughs> oh, banging you guys around. All right, well, that's the end of the video. So I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good night. Bye.